All right, everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the Xeno Pro. It finally showed up. It finally showed up from China after being sent back twice. I had this sent back twice and the black one sent back once. For security reasons, of course. But who knows, right? Who knows what that was really all about? Because, it, you know, it wasn't just me. It happened to other people, but it happened to me a lot of times, so... I was kind of really bummed out about it, but we're going to show it today. And after I get done showing you what's in the box, we're going to take it out and take it for a little flight. So it's not going to be just an unboxing and then leave you hanging. Okay, so let's uh, get it out of the box. All right, here you go. It's out of the box. And I got the two battery version, so I got the case with it. It's a nice case, but I'm really not into these types of cases I like the bigger cases that you can use as landing pads so I'm gonna probably put the Xeno Pro into the case that I had the white Xeno in so we'll just go with that case and then I'll put the white Xeno in this bag but it's a nice bag I mean don't get me wrong it's a sweet bag but I'll just put the uh, original Xeno in this one just let me get to the extras before we get to the quadcopter and then you know you got your charger here's the whole setup for that right there there's the little adapter plug and then there's the actual power supply for that we'll put that over there and on this one they gave you a car charger so you could charge it in their car which the other one the Xeno original one as far as I know did not have this then you have your three controller cables I use the one for the lightning but then there's the U micro USB and the USB-C for whatever kind of phone you might have put them over there you got your spare props and screwdriver and now this one is Phillips screws on the Xeno Pro on the original Xeno was flathead screws. This uses Phillips screws for the props. So they have to give you a different screwdriver. Even though it's this red. Here's the strap. These props here were from the Xeno one. I just do them up here for some reason or another. Yeah, that's for the Xeno one props. The Xeno Pro, here's the other bag. The Xeno Pro actually gave you two sets of spare props. Not just one. So I guess maybe they're thinking you're going to crash more. Okay, more crashing for the Xeno Pro. Because they give you more props. Here's the manual. It's a manual. Here's the extra battery. Now the batteries are identical on this. It's a 3000 original battery for the original Xeno. 3000 milliamp hour 11.4 volts same the same dimensions same specs on these batteries here's the quadcopter itself and then here's the transmitter and the transmitter is a little different too so I don't know if they're going to be upgrading through the app or if they're going to use the same setup as they did on the other one but on this one it does not have the little it's hard to get a view of that but you know on the original one you had to pinch those two posts together inside there but this doesn't have that no more that's gone so they must have a way to update this through either plugging it into the micro USB cord here and plugging it into the computer or actually downloading it and doing it over to Wi-Fi so it's going to be one or the other but We'll have to wait for Chris to uh, figure all that out for everybody, okay? We'll wait for the QC guy to figure all this stuff out. Now here's the quadcopter itself, and it's it's no it's no different. And you're gonna see in the video that I shot, which will be right after this. This thing acts just like the original one. The takeoff is where it does that bobbing up and down and it still does that crab walking where you 
you push the sticks forward and it kind of goes forward and then starts veering off a little bit to the uh, right or the left because uh, on mine it did it both ways but uh, it still does this stuff so that none of that's changed I think what they did with this thing was they updated the uh, the transmission signal I think that's what the pro part is because the rest of the quadcopter to me actually looks identical See, there's no you know optical flow which I mean I don't care you know I don't care about that stuff you know you take off it bobs around a little bit and weaves around you get it under control and then you go once you get it under control and then you start flying around it that, that it doesn't even become an issue but for some reason when it's at low altitude when you first take off it jumps around and does all that but you know once I got flying around um, it's it's just not an issue you know it's just no big deal um, let's get the scale out so we can weigh it up but uh, other than that on this the there's the same thing as the other one you got the uh, micro SD card slot and the micro USB for updating or whatever the camera To me, it looks almost identical. It has a real little small difference, which I'm going to show you here in a second after I fold this up. On these two here, you will see that the original Zeno has this little ridge right here on the camera to where it looked like you could fit because it has the... Um, the Spark has that little ridge here, and that's where they clip the filter. But the Xeno Pro does not have that ridge on it right there. See that? Doesn't have that little ridge there. Where this one, it does. You'll see it right there is that little ridge. So, I don't know what kind of difference that makes. But other than the fact that it has different kinds of screws, like on this one it has the flathead screws, you see there. And this one has the Phillips screws, as you see there. Other than that, I really do not see a dime's worth of difference in these things. I mean, if you just pick them up, they weigh, it, it seems exactly the same amount. But we're going to put it on the scale and check it out. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because of that light shining down in there. But I can zoom in on it since I got it in 4K and you can see it. Here's the original. That says 707 grams. That's without the cover on the camera. And then here's the Pro. And it says 727 grams. Hold on, hold on. Let me get it on there right. 727. And that has 707. But I tell you what, I can't tell the difference. Boy, it's hard to... Uh, It's hard to tell those 20 gram difference. Yeah, I can't I can't tell the difference. I'm just double checking, make sure I'm not screwing up something. Yeah, so that's 20 grams more. I don't know what it is. It's something. Let's check the transmitter. 284 grams. This transmitter weighs more than the Mavic Mini. <laughs> okay and here's the transmitter for this one the original 292 for the original and 284 for the black one for the pro so I don't know it's really hard to tell that just by picking it up with your hand a difference in those kind of grams you know so 
All right, guys, there you go, Xeno Pro. It's nice. And and the original Xeno is nice, too. Like, I'm not getting rid of that thing, that's for sure. I love that thing. That thing's great. But we'll get this out and show you the video, which will be coming up in a couple of seconds. All right, guys, have a nice day. All right, guys, I'm out here with the Xeno Pro. Take my little flight after the unboxing. Just take it up for a little bit. I want to check the motors and everything, make sure it, nothing gets too hot or bothered or anything like that. I'll, uh, let me start some video. Okay, well, the Xeno Pro lacks just as hairy as the other one, <laughs> the Xeno Non Pro. I guess that's what we could call that. Maybe if I did the auto takeoff, it would be a little bit smoother. But that, uh, the other takeoff is a little, is a little hairy. And it's not in sport mode or anything, so. Let's see, I got 13 satellites. Boy, this one does that same like little crab walk that that other one did. Same, same stuff when you're down here low, flying it around close. It does the same, doesn't sit still, bobbing around. Same crap. Nothing's changed on that at all. Boy, it didn't like me doing that. On the, uh, the original Zeno, that never was an issue. I did that on the first flight I had out by the train tracks. It didn't affect it one bit. Here, it disconnected. It disconnected from the transmitter when I pulled on the when I pulled on it like that. So I guess maybe it thought it was in a crash situation. But the uh, the Zeno, the original, didn't do that. So something to think about. There you go, first flight Xeno Pro. It's bouncing around like crazy, but we'll try to get a firmware update on here and see what, see how it rolls. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.